Now, this question to everyone, okay? To access any resources, any device, any software on the internet, what do we need? If you're accessing any application, <laughs> Arun is give, given the answer, very nice. Some people saying server, some people saying API, some people saying, Baki log, bolo bhai. What do you need? Browser, internet, web server, internet. If you're accessing any, any, any device and software from the internet, okay, this software and I see many people saying the correct answer now. Yes. So if you're accessing any device on any software from internet, it has unique IP address. Port number as well. It has unique IP address. So here, okay, Senthil identify by his name, okay, Muhammad. His name is Muhammad, right? If you identify, he is Muhammad, okay? He is OJA, right? OJA, some person, right? He is the person. So as a human, we identify by the name. But a device on internet, identify with IP address. Now, question comes, okay, one second, one second. Now, question comes, okay, how we get this IP address on internet, not on this internet, in this AWS account. As we know, if you want to access any device, any software from the internet, we need IP address, right? So, at the end, in this AWS account, we are going to create and launch some software, right? Some application we want to access from the internet, okay? So, it needs IP address. So, how do this account will get IP address? Let me know in the chat box. Any idea? For that, no worries, for that, we need to create network in our AWS account. For that, we need to create network in our AWS account. And this network in AWS is called VPC, Virtual Private Cloud. Mohammed said VPC, Mohammed, you are right. Prajwal said VPN, you are a little bit wrong. Okay, maybe you got confused. Okay, so this is called virtual private cloud. cloud. I hope you people are making note of it. Okay, <clears throat> so we need to create a network. Okay, and this network is called virtual private cloud. As I said, Okay, we'll get IP address from this network. So, in this network, we are going to launch maybe 10, 15, hundreds machines, right? So, all those machines need IP address. What does it mean? It means we have to give some sort of a range of IP address to this VPC, right? A range of IP address. And this is something we can do with called CIDR. Classless inter-domain routing. And this looks like something like this. Okay, let's say 10.0.0.0 and slash 16. Now let's try to understand this very, very important concept we are understanding here, okay? <clears throat> so here, this slash 16 is called 
net mask and the slash system decides how many ip do we get for this ppc so saying this slash 65 sorry slash 16 we get 65 k ip address now you ask Praveen, how do i know slash 16 means 65000 ip address and in your group we have one network engineer okay the bendu goes sal is saying yes two to the power 16 exactly okay so this is a small formula you need to use it but people who don't know you not need to worry about that prabhu is also saying same things you not need to worry about we are going to understand with a very simple way okay so here we have a website we use this website okay to know how many ip address we can get in our ppc so let's say if this is our ip address 192 let's make it 10.0.0.0 then let's put 16 16 here and calculate <clears throat> okay it will say how many ip will get 65000 guys pay special attention is very very important this is what is important in the networking okay in vpc now let's put slash 28 okay and calculate means 14 ip address we only get 14 ip address one things do remember aws only supports net mask from slash 16 to slash 28 it should be in between this guys if this is clear so far give me a thumbs up or type gtg in the chat box lakshma is saying repeat i will repeat perfect so i'm repeating once again guys so let's try to understand this okay so to create a okay what i said to access any device from the internet we need ip address so uh, technically in aws account we are going to create some application we are going to access it right so it also need ip address so how this we get ip address in our account for that we need to create this vpc this vpc okay and this vpc when we create we can give this cidr okay and ci cidr decide how many ip do we get so this is the ip ip looks something like this 10.0.0.0 or maybe 192.168.0.0.0 or 192 so these are ip address on top of that when you add this slash 16 so this is called net mask okay and this net mask decide how many ip do we get now that what we are discussing here aw supports slash 16 to slash 28 net mask and how many ip means slash 16 we can calculate with some mathematics okay that is 2 to the power the this net mask and this is not okay this and minus two two ip not get used there okay but let's not go there this is very difficult okay you don't need to understand that part but simply you can use this software to calculate this okay so here now let's put it 24 and calculate now we see you can get 254 ip address in this sub net mask in this cidr guys chalo if this is clear so far give me a thumbs up so you are you are exactly right you are right okay perfect super type, type gtg in the chat box if all good perfect now let's go back to our slide okay now in this network okay 
let's change this to okay let me change color of my pencil change this to okay 24 you are going to use net mask 24 okay just give me a moment okay now one very important things guys so when we create this network okay and this network when we create a different aws resources and services right so do this all service need to be accessed from the internet does all the resources services need to access from the internet type yes in the chat box if you agree if no type no in the chat box someone saying no someone saying yes if no means why no then what kind of service do we need that not need access of internet but we need to create in aws account dependu saying yes dependu you are right what kind of resource Backend resources, Rajesh Siyad is saying backend resources. Yes. So in our AWS account, we need we'll need some resources that need access to the internet. Some resources don't need access to the internet. Okay. So technically, if you understand, we are going to create two type of sub network within this network. Okay. So we will create one public network. And another we will create private network. Okay. And in terms of AWS, this public network called public subnet. Subnet. And this is called private subnet. So this is a specific term. You need to remember it. So why public subnet public subnet is accessible from the internet whereas private subnet is not accessible from the internet so in our network we are designing two sub network and one network is the public which access from the internet and another is private with not need to access from the internet guys if this is clear Give me a thumbs up or type GTG in the chat box. You should not miss this concept. It's very, very important concept. Same time, make a note. Do this drawing is very important. Perfect. Super. Now, okay, someone is saying repeat. But now one is saying repeat. So, in AWS account, we have, okay, in AWS account, okay, we will have basically not in AWS account, in any internet okay we will have basically two types of the device you are going to place one device or software you need to access from the internet another you don't need access from the internet so for that purpose we are going to create two type of network in our aws account one is public network <clears throat> another is private network public network in the aws called private public subnets or private call private subnet so again now the subnets when you create this also need ip address okay and this ip address it gets from subset of subset of this ip address this citr okay now how do we do that how do we divide that let's go ahead and understand from here again we'll come on to this websites Okay, now we know on slash 24, we get 254 IP address, right guys? Then we want to divide it, okay? So, slash 24, <clears throat> move to, let's say put here, slash 26, okay? And calculate this. If you see here, it's giving us four subnet okay and each subnet has 62 ip address okay so in our case how many 
how, how many sub network we need two right one public and one private correct so what we'll do here we'll go ahead put it 25 okay and calculate this again now we see we are going to get two sub network okay and each will have 126 ip address okay <clears throat> now this will be sidle for first network this will be sidle for second network okay guys if this is good so far give me a thumbs up now we'll jump on aws account and we'll create this vpc and this two sub network perfect let's go to the aws account And now, as we are, okay, Bhupati and other guys, don't raise your hand, okay? Once I will complete one module, I will give you opportunities to ask you a question in the Q&A section. Now, you are taking your hand on screen, okay? A little bit of disturbance is happening. So, please, don't raise your hand, okay? I am going to ask your question, take your question in the Q&A part, okay? End of each module. In meantime, go so much me nahi yada, aap repeat, repeat, bol do, take it up, then I will repeat it. Okay, guys, we all on the same page. Give me a thumbs up, big thumbs up. Let's go to the AWS account. Okay, now we have to search service called BPC. Now this is loading and to create VPC, okay. First things first, okay. I forgot to mention you, okay. AWS services has a scope, okay. A scope means where you create AWS service, okay. So to create AWS service, you have to select first of all AWS region, okay. You need to know where you want to create this AWS services okay for me let's go in frankfurt region let's say i want to create in germany frankfurt okay <clears throat> and here i already have one vpc but to create vpc we will click on this button create vpc okay then here select vpc only and give name of the vpc okay guys let me know give me any name in the chat box i will use this name in the chat box I will use this name for the VPC. Let's make it interactive, guys. I wanted to make sure you guys, <laughs> boom. Yes, let's make this boom. Okay, first name I see the boom. Okay, so boom. And as we said, we need IP address, CIDR for our VPC, right? So let's go ahead. And we know this is the CIDR for our VPC, right? Which one? This one slash 24 copy it and we'll go there and paste okay and then that's all create vpc okay this is space remove this okay and create and our vpc got created very nice <clears throat> now we have to create two subnets okay click on this okay and then click this create subnet and here, as I said, and we know the subnets are part of sub subnets. Okay. Now, so we need to select in which VPC you want to create it. Okay. So we'll select our boom VPC. Okay. Then we have to give name of the VPC. We'll give it boom hyphen. Okay. Public okay subnet okay and you can select ability zones where you want to create okay then again we need cider for our this subnet okay select this and go here and paste this and create okay what is saying must be valid subnet this valid subnet is white space is there okay 
go ahead and create this. Now public subnet got created. Let's create another subnets quite similar. Okay. And give the name boom slash private private subnet. Then we need select ability zones go in the B. Okay. Then let's get the IP address once again. This is our IP address. And we'll paste here. No space looks like create. Now we created our one VPC and two subnet. Let's go back to the slide. Guys, if this is clear, give me a thumbs up. Or type GTG in the chat box. We created VPC. We created public subnet and the private subnet. This public subnet, what we have created, is this really public? Is this really public? Did we did anything here to make it public? No, right? Very important concept. Now, to make this public, okay, we have to do two things. First things, we have to create another AWS service called IGW Internet Gateway. Internet Gateway, as name suggests, Internet Gateway. Gateway to Internet and Gateway think as a door. Okay. If you have a house, apartment, your personal house okay to go outside from your house you need a door right to access the community to go outside so we need the gateway so to vpc to go outside we need a gateway we need a door for where for internet so this is called internet gateway we need to create a internet gateway and as you see, I put it on top of VPC. So we have to attach this. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we see internet gateway. We click here and create an internet gateway and we give it boom dot IGW. Sir, you are doing fantastic job. Thank you so much. And scroll down then. Okay, create this very simple. And then we need to attach. Okay, click here and we need to select VPC. Boom. Okay, and attach. And now we are done. So, first things we created IGW and we let VPC know how you can go to the internet. Now, we have to also let this subnet know how to go to the internet, right? Because now VPC know, but the subnets, public subnets don't know how to go to the internet. For that we create, what anyone can guess what we need to create? Exactly guys, I have some smart people here. Sorry, everyone is a smart here, means some people knows, okay? We need to create a route table, okay? And this route table has two things. One is called destination. Another is called target. So in destination part, we'll say 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0. This denotes internet. Okay. And here we will give ID of this internet gateway. Okay. So it will be something like IGW. Okay. 3, 5, C, 1, 3, something like this. Okay. Now, our public subnets know how to go to the internet. Okay, guys. <clears throat> now, 
let's try to understand this whole network with very simple example okay assume vpc is your gated community gated community vpc is your gated community okay and there IZW is main gate of your community, okay, to get outside. Public subnets, assume this is as a commercial area of your community where you can access, okay, as well as other side people can also come and access this community, commercial area. There are some shops and all. And private area is residential area where you have the apartments are there okay guys this is clear so far and then here you have the route table okay which has the signs tell okay you want to go in the commercial area go this way you want to go in the private area go this way so this is sign board okay is on the pathway of your society all clear type boom in the chat box now we'll go and create the RT route table in our AWS account. Super. Guys, I need more engagement. I want boom from the AFD one. Or give me a thumbs up. Super. Fantastic. Now, <clears throat> let's go here. Now you see here a route table. Okay. Click route table. And here we create a route table. Click this and give here boom public RT. Okay. Then, of course, we need to select the VPC. We select the boom here. Okay. And create this. Got created. And then we have to edit a route table. Okay. Then we'll add a route here. And here, what is the destination, guys? It was. 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0 this denotes internet okay and what is the target IZW and boom IZW what we have created right and attached and and if we go in the subnet association okay and here edit the subnet and if we add our public subnet okay save association now done okay now our this public subnet is become public guys all clear give me a thumbs up all clear super Prabhu Siva saying, please repeat last part. Last part, we have not done anything. Last part, we have to make the public subnet. Okay. To make a subnet public, okay, we need the ICW internet gateway, which gives gateway to the internet. Then we attach to our VPC. Okay. VPC is attached. Okay. Then, हमें इस जो पब्लिक सबनेट है ना उसको बताना पड़ेगा ठीक है ना कि ये बाहर कैसे जाएगा इसको इंटरनेट पे ज्यादा कैसे जाना है ठीक है ना इसको रूट देना पड़ेगा रास्ता तो बताना पड़ेगा ना सो दैट्स व्हाट वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस राउट टेबल एंड दिस राउट टेबल वी हैव इन डेस्टिनेशन इंटरनेट पे जाना है इंटरनेट क्या है यही है स्लैश 0.0.0/0 को इंटरनेट बोलते हैं ओके सो दिस वन Okay, if you want to go to internet, IGW ke pass jau, and IGW ke thudu chale jau. Take na? That's what we have explained here. In easy setting ko jaake hum usme AWS account me create kar diye. Now, a public subnet public ban gaya. Pahle public nahi tha, now a public ban gaya. Awesome explanation. Thanks, Edton. Palvi, you are most welcome. Mohammed, thanks a lot for your time for teach us this free workshop. Mohammed, you are most welcome. Okay, guys, thank you so much for your compliment. Now, we have the public subnet and private subnet. Now, let's say here, we are launching a AWS service. Okay, we'll talk this service very soon. But time being, let's assume 
here we have a service called e c2 and ec2 is nothing but a virtual machine like your computer i will explain okay here so what will happen when we create this ec2 instance in the public subnet what will happen Mupati, thank you so much once again what we will have this ec2 instance type in the chat box yes it will have the ip address address neha you said correctly right so when we launch this resources it will have a ip address it will get from that ip address okay so it will be maybe 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot it will be let's say maybe 15 so it will have this unique ip address and this ip address it will get from public subnets citr okay now can I will be able to access this EC2 instance from the internet because this is the public subnet. Dependu is saying yes. Dependu, I think you are from the networking background. I was not expecting this answer from you. Rajesh is saying yes. Rajini is saying yes. What about other people? Pipet is saying no. Pipet, let me know why no. What about others? Sad is saying yes. Mukesh is saying yes. Mukilesh is saying yes, Sanas is saying yes, one people said no, why no, if you said no, please explain, why no, yes, 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 need to attach public IP address, exactly, guys, now let's understand different concept, so we have two type of IP address, now we stop typing, let's focus, there is two type of IP address, public IP address and private IP address. The IP address, what we used here, this is public private IP address. Private IP address is not accessible, discover, discoverable from the internet. You are not able to discover from the internet. Private IP address is not able to, you're not able to discover from the internet, okay? So, this is private IP address. If you want to access from the internet, it need a public IP address. So, to get this public IP address, okay, you have to do a small settings. We'll go in our subnet, public subnet, okay? This is our public subnet. And go here in action, okay? In edit public subnet settings, you see auto assign IP address. You see enable auto assign public IP address. So if you enable that, and I will go ahead and save that. So when we launch any resources in our this public subnets, it will have the public IP address. It will be something like this. Let me change color of my pencil. So we are able to differentiate its three dot the guy in there other color may be black maybe three dot five dot ten dot maybe nine okay so if you have this public ip address when you have this public ip address then you are able to access it from the internet guys if all clear so far type clear in the chat box what is instance i will talk about just forget about it this is just a easy to imagine this one service we have created there we'll go there okay super guys last concept is not clear palvi is saying so, Palvi, my question was, when we launch this EC2 instance, this one service in our public subnet, are we able to access from the internet? Technically not, because this got a private IP address. So, private IP address is not accessible from the internet. 
if you want to do that, you have to attach a public IP address. Okay. And for that, we have did a small settings in our subnets. Okay. So any service we launch in our public subnet, it will have the public IP address. Okay. So now we are able to access this from the internet. Okay. Okay, Anurag will come on that point later. Uh, maybe we don't need to talk here, okay? So let's not get confused too much. Let's go in the very small flow, okay? So we will able to understand, everyone able to understand. This is advanced topic, what you are saying. Now, the public subnet, private subnet, public subnet, we enable auto assign public IP address. They will get access of the internet when they have the public IP address. Now, in our private subnet, maybe, we will have some resources. Let's say here again, we have a resource called EC2. I will talk guys what is EC2, don't get confused. But imagine we have a one machine here and here you have also application. So you want to download, you want to download some software from the internet, right? This is the internet. You want to download it because Application kahin na kahin, internet mein hoga, right? Git mein hoga, ya aapke local machine mein hoga. How do we do that? Private subnet ka matlab kya hai? We don't want this subnet should be accessible from the internet. But is resource ko internet ke access chahiye, to kaise milega isko? Right? How do we do that? I'm looking the chat box, guys. If you know, do let me know. Perfect. I see some people saying, IP address nature like we need guys another service called NAT gateway. Okay, so here a screen copy complex to okay. So and let me erase something here. Okay. Yes. So now let's erase something here. Okay. And this EC2 instance come delete kar dete hai. Now we are talking about the oh, 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 oh. Jada delete ho gaya. Isko box ko band kar dete hai. Okay. Yes. Now, this instance want to access the internet. For that, what we'll do, we create another service called NAT, N-A-T. Okay. Another is gateway. NAT gateway. NAT gateway. Again, this is gateway. Again, this is door. So, NAT gateway. And where we do we create? We create in public subnet will create in public subnet the next we are using a small english now and then okay now i think it should be fine okay so now we are creating nat in we have to create another service called nat in our public subnets okay and this is called network address translation so what is to is Translate your network address. What is network address? Your IP address, your private IP address 10.0.1. Let's say this is if 18 IP address. And if this service want to access the internet, okay, so what it will do, it will hide your identity, private IP address, and it will give you access to the internet to you simple if you want to imagine it so in your private community if you want to go outside okay so if you need a cab instead of using ola uber if you use ola and uber you have to give them your apartment number right your address if you don't want to do that you just call a community cab to sit in the community cab and go out and come back okay your apartment number your address is not going disclosed okay relate with that okay so here what NAT do NAT 
give you access of the internet. How it happen? For that again, you have to create another route table RT for our private subnet, and we are going to attach this, and it will have again two things: destination and target. Destination means zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero. Okay. And here ID of this ID of let me change the color of my pencil. ID of this NAT gateway will go over here. ID of this NAT gateway will go over here. So N A T hyphen something one five C two one something like this. Okay, guys. Now your private subnets know if you need to access the internet it will go to this route table and the route table sent to the NAT gateway NAT gateway is in the public subnet so it's already know it has the IGW it will go to the IGW it will go to the internet again it will come back like this guys if this is clear give me a thumbs up Dipendu, you are absolutely right. What Dipendu is saying, in this case, all inbound session are dropped except existing session initiated by private subnet. Yes. So here, this private subnets don't have access to the internet. It's not accessible from the internet. Okay. But from here, from inside, you are able to access the internet. Okay, so this is the purpose. Ravi is asking, okay, asking, but we have given internet a destination in the NAT. Should it not be IG address? Nice much my Prabhu. Didn't get it. Write again. Okay. Justin saying explain table again. So what we did now we have created another route table, another route table. Okay. And this is we attached to our private subnet. And here again, we have the destination. We are saying access to the internet destination 0 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 0. Okay. Here target is this NAT gateway and this NAT gateway we created in the public subnet okay <clears throat> Dinesh is saying can we download anything from the internet yes we can draw anything from the internet okay guys now I will take your all questions here okay but before that okay let me delete this and recreate it from the scratch okay so just will revise it okay so let me delete this all okay again we will create from the scratch okay so we all revise it okay so i'm going to explain you okay and revise for you and explain it so guys put a special attention over here so we have our aws account Now, to launch any resources in the account, okay, and to access from the internet, we need IP address, and for that, we have to create a network. And this network is called VPC, Virtual Private Cloud in AWS. So, it has, because we need, we are going to create multiple services, so we need multiple IP address. This IP address VPC get from CIDR. Okay. And this is called classless interdomain routing. It would be something like this 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Let's say slash 16 means 
65k ip address and this is what we understood in very detail now in this network we could have two types of the resources okay public and private for that we have created two network public subnet and private subnet private subnet as of now public is not public private is not private to make public subnet public we have created another service called igw internet gateway and then we have a route table created public route table for public subnets and here in destination we attach destination we are given 0 .0, 0 .0 0 0 id of this internet gateway okay then public subnets become public now private subnets also want to access of the internet to download something for that we created another service called nat nat gateway the public subnet again we have created the route table okay for the private subnets and in destination again we given 0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0 then you given id of this nat here nat here okay so this is what we have understood so far guys now we are i'm going to open for the q and a for network okay before that guys you are enjoying this all session making sense okay you are happy now pass happy emoji or type happy in the chat box I see some heart, a smile, some sort of gift. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.